John Swisher on this Monday afternoon at Brown Field. Matt Weiss, the fine AD of West Delaware Schools, is with me as a, a huge announcement coming uh, earlier today, uh, Matt, with uh, first outdoor volleyball match uh, ever that we know of in the state of uh, Iowa, West Delaware, Mount Vernon, September 17th, a Tuesday night right here at Brown Field. And uh, talk about this idea. You, you told me about it a few weeks ago. You started uh, thinking about this, saying, hey, why not? Why not us to be the first? Yeah, you know, the idea really originally came up, John, probably right after we decided we were going to put the turf in here at Brownfield. And uh, I talked to uh, AD over in Illinois named Scott Battis, and uh, they're trying to work on something similar uh, for this fall. And uh, that exactly that. I thought, why not West Delaware? So uh, we got to about the uh, beginning of the summer. I mentioned it to Coach Mather, and he was like, yeah, I think it's an awesome idea. So kind of run with it. He chatted with... Uh, Maggie Wolms, uh, head coach down in Mount Vernon, and uh, once we got the OKs from the coaches, uh, contacted the girls' union, and at this point, the rest is history. Indeed, and uh, some logistics that things go into it, of course. You had to get some uh, help, and you got that support right away, no surprise. Delhi Lumber stepping up, and two of our fine businesses in town here with Jamie and Sam stepped up as well. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the the, the first business I called was uh, down to Delhi Lumber, and um, I knew that we were going to need to do something for the base of our, our court uh, that we were getting uh, from the girls' union. It's the state, state tournament court that uh, they use down in Extreme Arena. Um, and I knew we were going to need to stabilize that up a little bit, so made the call down to Delhi Lumber, and they were more than willing to help. Um, and can't say enough about them. Uh, made the call to uh, Jamie and Sam both, too, to uh, see if we could utilize some of their box trucks to be able to haul the court back and forth to Coralville. And um, again, they were both like, yes, it's a great idea. We can't wait to help. And all we need now is Mother Nature to cooperate on that day. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's hope for uh, a pretty uh, low wind night and especially no rain. And um, as long as we can kind of reach in those good conditions, we're going to play some volleyball out here. Indeed. And just more excitement to build to this as the uh, turf project coming to a close here in the next couple of days. Officially will be ready. Folks can come out and take it in for the first time. Uh, officially on Thursday night for the Silver Bowl. Yeah, absolutely. Um, as you can see kind of behind me here, John, uh, we're getting real close. Uh, crews are uh, just kind of finishing up some final touches here. They're putting the infill in, and um, we're planning on having our kind of final walkthrough on things Wednesday morning. Uh, we have what they call a G-Max test here scheduled for Wednesday afternoon. Um, basically, that's just to kind of make sure that the field is uh, within range where we need it to to be safe. And uh, we're going to be ready to roll Thursday night for Silver Bowl. A project that took about uh, three months here. A great thing for uh, all involved here. And uh, just talk about all the support you've got for this project. Yeah, absolutely. You know, our school board, first off and foremost to them, uh, for kind of be believing uh, that this was a good thing. And um, we've just had top grade has been the general contractor here. And they've been uh, working nonstop. Uh, Sprint Turf is our turf company. They've been here for the last couple of weeks. Uh, they've been started about 6 in the morning and they're working to about 10 at night almost every single day trying to get things ready because they knew that uh, on the 22nd we had Silver Bowl and we wanted things to be ready for that night. Um, just uh, a lot of people of the community have been out kind of watching people go to, go to work and excited to be able to not only have football here now but soccer as well. Um, I know I talked to Jonathan Green, our band director, he's really excited about being able to get the band out here every day uh, for practice. Just uh, and, and obviously we're going to play some volleyball out here too. So a lot of a lot of really good opportunities here now. No doubt about it. And that uh, volleyball, going back to the volleyball match, uh, similar to the last couple of years of uh, uh, Mr. Linder had it in his article, article today about Nebraska. I don't think we'll get 90,000 uh, fan, 90, fans on September 17th, but it's going to be a great atmosphere. Yeah, absolutely. I would assume, you know, we got two really rich uh, volleyball programs in high school in the state of Iowa. And, uh, you know, West Delaware is going to be probably a top 10 team for sure, and a uh, good chance that Mount Vernon is probably going to be number one as they enter in here to Brown Field. So should just uh, be a really good uh, matchup between the two teams. And as always, that's usually one of the top, you know, circled WAMAC games of the year. So uh, really excited about the opportunity for that night. And as we said, fans can come out and get a first look at it here for the Silver Bowl. Always a, a fun time. He'll Gates will open at 5.30, scrimmages will start at 5.45. We meet all the athletes and coaches at uh, 6.30. Yep, absolutely. You know, it's an opportunity if uh, you want to become an athletic booster as well that night. Bill Logan will have a table set up as you walk in. Um, we'll have some concessions open that night. But, yeah, opportunity to meet all of our fall sports teams. Besides football, we'll have the boys and girls cross-country teams here and volleyball as well. All right, Matt, thanks for your uh, time here this thanks, afternoon. John. 
And uh, great idea. We will look forward to being a part of it here on September 17th. Thanks again, John. You betcha. Matt Weiss, the fine AD of West Delaware Schools here from KMCH Sports.